Hi, I'm Delix Alex, Product Manager for Panasonic's Professional Video Camera Systems. Today I'd like to give you an overview of system settings and how to assign inputs and outputs on the AVHLC100. Upon launching the AVHLC100 for the first time, you will see the administration panel. Here you can define your system or operating format up to 1080-60p. Note this defines the outputs of the switcher but this unit in general will cross-convert any inputs. After you configure for the first time, the administration panel will not appear, but you can access it by clicking File and Exit to Administration. Next, let's configure our inputs. I'll move my mouse over any input window. A gear icon will appear. I'll click that gear icon to get into the input settings. Under the Source drop-down menu, you will see the local inputs. Inputs 1 through 4, SDI or HDMI, are listed first along with the Skype TX Caller option, which we'll discuss later. NDI sources discovered by the AVHLC100 are auto-populated and grouped below that. You'll also notice that the two NDI outputs, Program or AUX, are available to be assigned in the input menu just in case you would like to monitor these from your multi-view window. In general, video format will be auto-detected, but manual format selection is also available. In this input settings menu, you also have the ability to name your input and enter an IP address for camera control for Panasonic PTZs coming in via SDI. There's also a color tab to access PROC AMP or color correction settings for that particular input. For video outputs, we have already defined the format in the administration panel. For output 2, you may select the default output by choosing options, aux video defaults, and select either preview or aux. The aux bus is accessed by holding alt and a button on the preview bus row, either on the hardware panel or via software. Now you have your system format inputs and outputs configured. Thank you for watching.